In just under two weeks, October 9th to be exact, we get the chance to see the return to the ring of the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. We're calling this one hard work and rededication. Let's talk about the bronze bomber's return. On October 9th, 2021, Deontay Wilder, the Bronze Bomber, former WBC heavyweight champion, will be returning to the ring for his rubber match against his previous conqueror, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King. In a long-awaited third fight, these men will finally get a chance to face off as we had seen arbitrators get involved in this fight taking place. But the wonderful thing about the law in between these fights is the former champ has had a chance to refocus, replenish, and rededicate himself to the beloved sport of boxing. We have seen over the months clips that were released to the public to show exactly what the champ has been doing simply because media hasn't covered him properly and they wanted everyone to know that not only is the champ in great and tremendous spirits as he faces his rubber match with Fury. But he intends to add a rededication and a re renewed focus that will allow him to enter this ring and this fight to get back what he feels was wrongfully taken and he's getting it back as he says, in blood. It is apparent that adding Malik Scott as his head trainer has assisted in Deontay's new mindset and reinvigorated approach to the sport. He has shown some new wrinkles in his skill sets. He has shown a new intensity that we have not seen from the Bronze Bomber in quite a long time. This is significant as the champion goes in to meet the challenge of overcoming everything up to this point that has been a setback for him. Even in his successes, the Bronze Bomber has incurred setbacks. But once you have a chance to have a bird's eye view of what may have gone wrong for you, the true champion in one will sit back, make assessments, have the courage to make the changes that are imperative to be successful going forward. The champ has done all of these things. And though certain decisions that he's made may not necessarily sit well with the general public and media the consensus, this man has had to do things his way for himself, and that's what matters most. Now, born of these decisions are the rededication that I talked about, the renewed focus 
on the task at hand and the technical ability to be able to implement his plan going forward. We're seeing a different Wilder. Those who have shot him short prior to now will be surprised because though boxing is a tremendous part of what you do in the sport and being professional at it, you still have to have something else. The will and the desire and the courage to do what's necessary. By making these changes in his camp, he has come to life with the excitement about the possibilities. And you could ask no more of a champion as he goes out to face his future and what he wants to do with his future. We've all had a chance to see the critics. We've heard the disrespectful ways that they've come at him. But has he sat around and sulked or, or kind of poked his lip out? Absolutely not. This renewed dedication has seen him focus on his technical abilities and also have fun while doing it. That is one of the most important things you have to realize that when you're doing something and it's work, you have to find a way to make it fun for yourself. Malik Scott joining Wilder's camp has allowed this to take place. Yes, it hasn't been all roses, but at the same time, when the, the enthusiasm comes across and everything that we've been able to witness, this speaks volumes. I am excited for the rubber match. I am excited because we have someone who really wants to win. Remember, sometimes when someone's been successful and then they have a setback and they have to go back and reassess what's going on, how did they end up where they are, and do they really need to make changes or do they have to look deeper within themselves and figure out from the ground up what's necessary to move forward and to persevere. Deontay has managed to do this with his camp and with the people he's brought in around him. I'm excited for that because even at this stage of his career, I believe there's talent untapped and this rubber match will be the beginning of us seeing the untapped talent. As the champ decides to go forward with his career, we may see even more. Just imagine being an exciting fighter who has brought the sport what it always loves. That's knockouts. But with that renewed focus and the rededication to add a tremendous amount of boxing skill to that as well. It is time to become surgeon-like. And that starts with the mentality of the fighter. And Deontay is definitely a man who has a strong mentality. So as we go into the rubber match, people should be excited for this. This is not just about going out there and knocking Tyson Fury out, which everyone knows could happen. Even Fury himself said that one of the most important things going into a third fight with Wilder is to not get knocked out. But if the former champ is going to display new boxing skills that are not necessarily new to him, but just a renewed dedication to it, then the knockout can come at any time not just from someone who's looking to land a bomb, but a person who is looking to bring the arsenal. That's what's important and when we talk about going into this fight and with this renewed rededication, the champ is looking to do that as well. I see that Deontay has a spirit that is 
kind of rare in this modern day of the sport. He's his own man. He doesn't speak very much. He doesn't come out into the public until it's time for a fight. And that's the way it should be because we respect what these warriors do. They need their time alone to assess what their next moves are instead of being out in the public, always on social media, running about here and there, always running their mouth. This is not who you see in this man. Now he has allowed himself to open up to the cerebral aspect of boxing. Remember the old adage, boxing is anywhere from, trainers have said, 80 to 90% mental. Well, Deontay is allowing the mental to come in. And that, my friends, is a more dangerous fighter than you've ever seen before. So be excited for the rededication, okay? Because that's what it's going to take to move him forward in his career. And we'll be there to check him out. Think about it. A new Deontay Wilder and a new champion on October 9th. This is Stormy B-Man. Let me say shout out to the LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, and new media and liberated perspective a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Tune in October 9th and watch the renewed, rededicated fighter that is Deontay, the bronze bomber, Wilder. That's all I have for you at this time. Leave comments and thoughts and let's discuss. Until the next time we speak, Peace to everyone out there. Remain safe. Enjoy the fight. Bomb Squad.